Is that you, City Life Magazine? Welcome, I'm Patricia Jagernoff. Come on in, this is one of my favorite spots in my home, the Glam Closet. I have so much fun in here. It's a place where I come to and I get revived. I'm just like, oh, girly and glam. Every time I look at this Emmy here, I think about exactly where I've been and also where I'm going. <laughs> How do I still be me on screen and not have that taken away from me because now I'm fulfilling this role? I said, what better than to launch your own fashion line? So I went into creating fashion, but it was too hands-on while also trying to have a career. So I launched PJ Glam Girl Boutique. Here's our breaking news dress and O2 working in breaking news. And I just still feel like everything I wear, every single time I slide into a new dress or a new outfit, I'm still 100% me. If I had a book, and really I'm looking to write a book, that kind of is a little PJ going through weather adventures. Th that little PJ who's watching TV, I remember myself when I was looking at the TV where I didn't see anyone that looked like me, I didn't hear anyone that sounded like me. I want to kind of take this energy, put it in a book for the young generation so that they can take that with them with their parents, their moms, their dads, their grandparents, their caregivers, and read along as PJ goes through all of these weather adventures. I had known it from the moment You were standing in the rain And I had known it from the second Oh, did you see it? Let me hold her. This Emmy win. It was a breakthrough at the time because it was just at the beginning of like the YouTube era. And when we won this, we then did a photo shoot. Um, we unfortunately lost um, the owner of, it was Pyman Studios. He actually passed away. Um, but so I hold this to my heart because he was one of the first that ever truly believed in me. And then having an Emmy kind of reminds me of him every time I look at it and just how grateful I am to be in Canada and to be recognized from the Academy. Just amazing. Guys, what are you doing? Do you want to be in the photo trip? <laughs> <laughs> we earlier talked about how, you know, little PJ, little Patricia was watching TV and didn't see anyone that looked like her. Today when you turn on the TV, I think everyone can see a little bit of them and the people that you see on your screens. I really do feel that um, you, you need to have representation on every platform, even if it's not a visual platform. People who are writing from a different sense, people who come from different backgrounds. We don't have to feel uncomfortable to have these conversations. But that little girl out there, and I know you're already watching me, a little Patty, a little PJ out there, I'd say to you, don't ever let anyone smash your dreams. You gotta believe in you the way I believed in me. Against all odds, I broke down all barriers, I smashed all ceilings, and because I surrounded myself with positive people, positive thinking, and uh, a, a social circle that, yes, as you grow, gets a little bit smaller and smaller and smaller, but it always remains very positive. So keep the positivity around you. You can do it. Mwah! It's been a pleasure. Thanks, City Life!